Welcome back, guys. In my today's lesson, I will discuss about acrodermatitis enteropathica. Acrodermatitis enteropathica is a rare autosomal recessive disorder which is caused by inability to absorb sufficient zinc from the diet. The genetic defect is in the intestinal zinc specific transporter gene. And initial signs and the symptoms usually occur in the first few months of life often after weaning from breast milk to cow's milk. The cutaneous eruption consists of vesiculobulus, exatomatous, dry, scaly or swasi form skin lesion, symmetrically distributed in the perioral, acral, perineal areas and also on the cheeks, knees and elbows as we see on the image. The hair often has a peculiar reddish tint and alopecia of some degree which is a characteristic feature of Acrodermatitis enteropathica. Ocular manifestations include photophobia, conjunctivitis, blepharitis, and also co corneal dystrophy detected by slit lamp examination. Associated manifestations include chronic diarrhea, stomatitis, glossitis, paronchia, nail dystrophy, gross retardation, irritability, delayed wound healing, intercurrent bacterial infection, and also sometimes superinfection with candida albicans can be seen. Lymphocyte function and the free radical scavenging are impaired and without treatment, the course is chronic and intermittent but often relentlessly progressive. When the disease is less severe, only gross retardation and the delayed development may be apparent. The diagnosis is established by the constellation of clinical findings and the detection of low plasma zinc concentration. A serum zinc level less than 50 micrograms per day is suggestive but it's not diagnostic of acrodermatitis enteropathica. Levels of alkaline phosphate, zinc dependent enzyme may also be decreased. Histopathologic changes in the skin are non specific and they include parakeratosis and also pallor of the upper epidermis. The variety of manifestation of a syndrome may stem from the fact that zinc has a role in numerous metabolic pathways, including those of copper, protein, essential fatty acids, prostaglandins, and zinc is incorporated into many zinc metal enzymes. Oral therapy with zinc compound is a treatment of choice for acrodermatitis enteropathica. Replacement for individual with inherited acrodermatitis enteropathica is with elemental zinc, selimigram per kg per day in the form of zinc sulfate, gluconate, or acetate. Zinc gluconate carries less risk for gastrointestinal distress, so it's preferred. However, plasma zinc levels should be monitored every three to six months so as to individualize the dosage. Zinc therapy rapidly abolishes the manifestation of the disease. And the supplementation of zinc for acrodermatitis enteropathica is for life. This is a summary of acrodermatitis enteropathica and its treatment. Thank you for watching.